All right, looks like we're live. So right now, I'm going to be playing some Hearthstone. I'm doing the arena. Um, I am live streaming this off my desktop, so you should have my view. Um, I can't split the Hearthstone uh, game to the left, the screen to be equal, so I'm just going to leave it like this. It's uneven, but um, that's fine because I want to have more of a view of this website and the gaming platform. So... Right now I have a thousand goals. We're gonna be playing Arena, and we're gonna be using this new service I heard called Hearth Arena, which basically helps you draft cards. Uh, when you're playing, it'll tell you the value of each card, uh, like which one you should pick, and then if you do pick a card, it will tell you um, for the next cards that you pick if there's any similarities or any kind of like combos that they might have. So say you picked a card that the website doesn't think is that great, it will track it though, and then say like the next card out of the three, this one is better because you picked this previous card. I don't know if that makes sense, but you'll see. I'm gonna use it for the first time. We'll check out if it's good or not. So let's enter the arena and see what kind of choices we get here, what heroes. I'm still pretty new to the arena, so um, I'm still learning a lot, and that's why I'm gonna use this Hearth Arena website, just see if it will help me. Um, a lot of times I only get like two or three wins. Uh, recently I got like eight wins in a match, which was awesome, um, and that was great because I hadn't gotten over like four or five, and getting eight was nice because I got a lot of rewards and it was really worth it. Plus it was fun to keep playing, and I started 0-2 uh, in that match, so that was pretty good. And let me just make sure everything on Twitch is cool here. It looks good. So I don't play a lot of Druids or Warriors. I like to play Shaman a lot, and I don't think that's probably the best to do in Arena, but I don't, I don't really know. I don't really care. I know more about Shaman, so while I'm drafting, I, I think I'd rather pick... Um, under a shaman. I don't know. Let's go for it. We'll see if it's good or bad. So, first selection's pretty good. So, let's just put this. So, we're going to do start a new arena. I picked a. What did I pick? A shaman. So, what is this? Deck coverage. I'm just going to full screen this for a second and see if this makes any difference. Deck synergies, basic decks. Okay, so this is how you search for the card. So we split it, it's just doing different. So you would do Mountain Giant. Oh, this is pretty intuitive. So Mountain Giant, Clockwork, Giant, and Earth Elemental. So this guy came up, that's what I'm talking about. Let's go purely by the tier list, Earth Elemental. So there's different tiers. So this they have an arena score. So each arena score is different. This one's 33.87, 19.88, 92.08. So I'm not going to keep reading these off for all of them. So by arena score, uh, this one is the best. And by tier score, this is also the best. So there's a different tier score that, that's different from this number, correlates differently. But as you can see, it looks like it's pretty close from the number. There are one or two more than that. So let's just read um, through these. Let's see what I would have picked if I was doing this. So if I was drafting right now, this is a 12, but has potential to drop. Usually, you know, you probably have like five cards in your hand, so it could drop under seven, maybe even more. Uh, cost on less for the each card in your opponent's hand. You have less control over that, so I wouldn't want to pick that. And this is definitely a great card. So for a five, you're getting a seven, eight, which is already great value, and a taunt. And it's costing you a total of eight, but in one turn, it's only costing you five. So I'm, I'm down with that, plus the... A lot of Druid and Shaman's deck do the overload, so this is a pretty easy choice. I think I would have won with that regardless. So I'm just going to do this. I picked this card. Let's keep trying this out and see where this gets us. This is going to take a little while, so bear with me if you guys are uh, checking it out. Blackwing Corruptor. I'm just pretty interested in what how this website works. Stone King Gargoyle. So this guy's face pretty funny. Let's go purely by the tier list again. Ship's Cannon. Whenever you summon a pirate, that's the thing though. I normally don't pick pirate cards because I don't use a lot of pirate cards. So I never, like, I never tend to draft them. For some reason, I like mech cards. So every time I see a mech, I'm like, ooh, mech, and I draft that. I never draft this. I feel like this is a great card. Uh, but I guess it's not. If you're holding a dragon, deal three. This has the worst score. Oh, oh my bad. This is good if you have a paladin deck, a paladin, because then you could give it a 4-4 and make it like 
you know, five damage, nine health, and then it keeps healing itself. So it's pretty nice with the combo. So fuck it. Let's just go off this website. Let's let's pick this card. Ship's cannon. Obviously, this what this website isn't the end all be all, and you could definitely, you know. Um, I saw some reviews where people said, you know, it's not always right, obviously, and things are subjective depending on the player. Um, those things are all obvious to me. But it seems like, to me, I would have missed out on this pirate hand, and I, like, I wouldn't have taken it, and it might work out where this is better to take because of the pirate. Give your minions plus three attack this turn. So that's pretty interesting. Um, this would good go as, this would be good as a combo. Has charge while you, while you have a weapon equipped. But this seems like to be the best, especially with the Shaman's minions. I think I'd rather take Bloodlust. I mean, minions. With the Shaman's totems. Um, when I play as a Shaman, I like to focus on getting totems out as quick as possible. But sometimes, you know, they, they don't have a lot of attack or any attack. So this looks like it's a great card. So I will take that. I'll follow the lead on that one. So let's see. Dust Devil. Booty. And Wisp. Wisp is like the worst card in the game. I know that. It's not, oh, look, this this is picking it up as a 7.2, so it's not the worst card in the game. Booty Bay Bodyguard. Yeah, this is pretty good, except for I don't like that it has the 4 health because a lot of cards do the 4 damage. Like a 4-3 card could take out this one, but... Okay, what are you going to do? See, this isn't great because it's not going to track, to me, unless it is, it's not going to track what I have... For like in every situation, like, what if this card keeps coming up and beats every card? I don't know. Although we don't really want to end up with too many cards with Overlord. Okay, I see. So he is predicting that. I still suggest you pick someone for Axe that has the most value out of these options. I I kind of like this one for each minion that died, but let's just try this out. So there's a couple things that a couple picks that I would have done. So I agree with a couple of these, and there's a couple that I just that I wouldn't have picked if I was doing this by myself. That's for sure. Whirling Zabomatic has the most value, and we could use it as a two drop. Yeah, I mean, I don't have any other mechs, and I don't need a two taunt because I can get the totem taunts. Whoops, I keep picking them. So we already got a Stormforged Axe. Chillin Yeti is usually the pick to go. We already have a Bloodlust, but Bloodlust seems like a good card. Normally I would pick Storm Rash, however, we don't really want to end up with too many cards with Overload. On top of that, we could always use a four drop. All in all, I suggest you pick Chillin. Yeah, I, I'm kind of down with that. Leper Gnome, to me, is an awesome card, but with Micro Machine, it's hard to say what this will recommend. Thanks, buddy. No, I picked the wrong one. Fuck. Shit. Everything's gone to shit now. That's what I'm talking about. Booyah! Yeah, I love this card. This card's awesome, Fire Elemental. So let me pick the card first, and then I'll do this. So I won't screw it up again. I like Keys and Mystic, or however you pronounce that. Um, I used to like the Nerubian Egg, but I don't really care for it anymore. Imp Master. At the end of your turn, deal one damage to this minion. <clears throat> nice. That's cool. Yeah, we don't have a three drop yet, I don't think. So let's take that. And that. So this should be interesting. Um, a lot of times people don't like these high damage stealth cards, but sometimes, you know, I've, I've like won games with that card. Playing it, and then it can't get attacked, and then doing that seven damage um, can really save your ass. Is this the same card? 
ancestral spirit Ravenloft has the most value all right there we go see it is nice because of the stealth if there was no stealth then it would not be worth it even if it was like a six drop to me plus i need a, heart, a high card elven archer i don't like zombie chow so this game can really go fuck itself if it tells me to uh, get zombie chow it probably is going to I just really don't like Zombie Chow. I really don't. Yeah, I'm going to not get Zombie Chow. I just really don't like it. I don't like that it gives a 5 health. To me, like if, if the enemy isn't playing a good card, you could literally attack the enemy 3 times, and then if all they have to do is kill Zombie Chow, and they get 5 of the 6 back that you did damage back. It just doesn't make sense to me. I don't really like it. I know it can be good at clearing, um, but it's not a fan. We're all allowed to have our personal opinions. What the fuck is this in the way? Iron Rifleman. That's cool. I like this. Senjin. Silverback. I used to really like the Silverback, Patriarchs, but now I'm less of a fan. Yeah, I mean, this is a great card. This is like the best taunt. Everybody likes this card. And so do I. Storm Wind Champion. Unbound. So this is pretty interesting. I mean, obviously, this takes a really long time. I think what would be better is if you were to draft yourself and then. If you came upon one where you're like, you really didn't know, just put it in here. And it wouldn't have the previous history of doing each one. When you do each one, it's going to have the history and know, like, hey, you already have too many three drops. But it could get you through an interesting situation if you have nobody to ask, you don't know what to do. So Stormwind Champion has the most value. Stormwind Champion could fit into our faster mid-range deck and Stormwind Champion has synergy with the deck. Yeah, it's good with uh, totems. So let's do that. I'm gonna assume that explosive sheep isn't gonna be in here. Hungry dragon. Fuck it, I wouldn't have taken that. I mean, I don't know what I would have taken there actually. Urshock. I'm really just blindly following this. So let's take a look at what I'd actually pick here and then take a look. So before this says, Urshock, silence a minion and do one damage to it, do one damage. Death throw, your opponent draws a card. Damn, I really don't know. For a three drop, this is really good. But I really like having a free sometimes to just stop an enemy. And a silence is good, so I'm interested. Yeah, the silence is really good sometimes when it, when a, um, enemy drops a minion that has like a devastating passive and you can't clear it like a grim patron or uh one of those legendaries with those insane passives so that's that's good i'm down with that force tank max crazy card dust devil and amani bamani jones So the only thing I fucked up so far was the mech. Dragonling mechanic. I wish it was like an easy way we just imported all this stuff. That would be awesome. Wind Fury. Yeah, I need some card draw. So I'm down with that. Light Warden. This makes me sad. Normally I'd pick Light Warden, however, Light Warden does not really have synergy with the deck. On top of that, we could use three drop. We could use a three drop alarm about synergy with the deck. Oh no, I said Yeah, because this could this could drop like a big card, especially if this is protected by a um like totem or taunt. But uh, this is so interesting, this guy's website is able to pick up 
all like this this is like this sentence is like it's like a paragraph here like a short paragraph and it's explaining the situation pretty well that normally you pick this card but the other card synergizes with my deck so I, i'm this took some serious coding i would imagine um for this guy to do this website or whoever put this website together it's very interesting obviously all these cards are pretty um they're not the best but interesting perspective i don't know what i would have picked there um i don't have a heal so it made that one card kind of pointless Oh, is this card not coming up? At the end of your turn, do one damage to this minion and summon. That's interesting, that card's not coming up. Mana? Am I, like, screwing this up? That's weird. This one um, section here is like messed up. It wasn't taking that. Matter Bomber or Mana Addict. Imp Master. So how many have we picked so far? I can't even really see. We're at 21. So this is taking a little while. Sorry about that. Gad gets in. Dragon Egg. Give a minion death rattle, resummon this minion. That's pretty sweet. But if I'm pressing a mage, they could just um, sheep this card or whatever. Getting rid of the death rattle, but it's only two, so. Mechanical Yeti, I don't even think I've seen that card before. Spectral Knight. Give each player a spare part. Oh yeah, I've seen that before. This is cool. I normally don't pick a lot of those cards, but I feel like I should. Oh, I thought that was the right one. Whoops, fucked up again. Thought it said that. Storm, Forged Axe. Piloted Shredder Reincarnation. Let's go purely by the tier list piloted Shredder. Alright. I feel like I don't have a lot of um it's like all minions. I don't know. Let's try this again. Shade of Next Ramus, Earth Elemental, and Farsight. That's what I'm talking about. Although we don't really want to end up with too many Earth Elementals, I still you should I still suggest you pick up Earth Elemental as it has the most value out of these options, and Earth Ele Elemental has synergy with the deck. This is pretty cool. Shade of Next Ramus is a pretty cool card. Whatever, let's go with it. Let's see. So I picked a no marriage, whatever, gnome, gnomergen infantry last time. And it was good in a couple situations to clear some like one ones or like two ones, but I didn't really love it. The, the charge is nice though for clearing the board. Wow, I really like this with the totems, this card. I'm pretty hesitant to take this, especially because of all the overloads. Because this card gives the totems damage. Yeah, I kind of like this. I'm, I'm going to take this card. I'm not going to listen to that one. For the most part in this draft, I'm going to be listening. But in this case, um, because of like my play style, it, I, I really like to get those totems out. The wolf is nice because it gives the nearby enemies one damn I mean minions uh, cards whatever you want to call them fucking hearthstone gives them damage 
pillow biter weapon. That's cool, it's a one drop too, so that's nice. I wonder if they're gonna tell me to get a Wind Fury here. Whenever your opponent casts a spell, that's cool. Cause they're gonna be wanting, they're gonna wanna clear my board pretty fast. So I can only assume that they're gonna be using spells if they have them. A lot of people pick mage when it comes up. I run into so many mages when I play Arena. Frost, Wolf, Warlord. Stone Splitter. Mech Warper. I don't have a lot of mechs though. Nah, I don't need a two drop because of my totems. I really don't, so. Again, I'm not listening there. Shade of Next Ramus, Doom Slayer, and Molten Giant. So let's see. Cost one less for each damage you your hero has taken. Hi, bro, chill. That's it. So processing your request. So the only thing that screwed up was the mech, the mech thing. So let's see, view deck basic, deck synergies. I don't know that, what they're saying. Mana curve, choice overview. Oh, a breakdown of my pick, results and rewards. So I could say what my result was here. Gold, packs, playing cards, matches. All right, so let's full screen this and let's play the first match of this new Shaman deck. Should be interesting. Here we go, I got a game. So I had almost like 1300 gold and I've been playing arenas. I maybe played like three or four, but I kept getting a decent amount of gold, so I'm still at a thousand, which is nice. So let's see what goes on here. So I'll be able to play a lot. Right now I have like four packs saved up, three or four packs, and I'm hoping to get to like 10 to 15 packs, and then I'll do an opening video with my roommate, because uh, he knows a lot of the cards, and we'll go through, hopefully have some, um, at least a legendary or two, and then we're opening 10 or 15 cards, would be nice. Um, all right, I'm going to stay with this. See, it sucks. I picked this card, and I, I don't really have any other pirates. You know? That's why I was hesitant to take it. You just never know what other cards are going to come up. It's like, they had me take a mech card. It's like, if I summon another mech, it costs one less. But I only have, like, two or three mechs in my deck. So, to me, I, I didn't love that, that. That it was asking me to draft those kind of cards. And I don't know if I should have got rid of one of these to try to get a one card. I don't even know how many one cards I have. I guess this is kind of stuff that if you want to get better in arena, I should probably look at first, but we'll see. So I'd rather save the the uh, dire wolf for when I can drop another minion, and I would do a totem, but it could just drop a one one, or it, I mean basically. None of the totems I have could kill the Raptor, so um, for me it was worth it, worth it just to play this. And she destroyed it, so whoop de doo Alright, well since I have two of these, I'm going to play this first. And then I, sh I will be able to kill the raptor, which is nice. And then I could even play another one of these and get my this wolf out. And then it, it will be really nice synergy and then start popping out my totems. We'll see. Well, I could, I'll have four, so I could play a wolf and a totem and start getting shit rolling. But it sucks to play against a priest. It really does. Everybody knows that. All right, so this guy's going... The raptor, it, I can't clear it right now, which stinks.
Alright, so let's see what I get here. This is exactly why I like doing this. Perfect. So see, I could just keep doing this over and over again. And you, you just get extra minions. I really I really like this with, with the uh, wolf. Because now this has one damage. So no matter what he does, if, as long, unless he takes out the wolf first, which he might. He might just go for the wolf, but then it will kill this. Or he could take this out. Either way. I have another one, so I don't really care. Copy two cards from your opponent's deck. How about no? How about you don't do that? Alright, that's cool. I'm down with that. I'm totally down with that. Um, so I'm just gonna kill this because I'd rather have the heal. And... Should I get the taunt out right now? That's the real question. Should I just put the taunt out? Might as well. I mean, it's going to have six damage now. It's always hard to tell. Like, do you play the lower cards here? Like, should I have played... I'm not sure. I think that was a good move. The fire Alright, so that guy gained three attack. I could kill him with this, though. I mean, realistically... I could put a death rattle on this card. Yeah, that's interesting. I think I might do that. Let me just make sure I read that right. Resummon this minion. <laughs> Alright, go me. I guess I could have placed that here and attacked with the one. But I wanted this to get more damage. Like I wanted the, this guy to have more damage for a longer period of time. I think it was worth it. That's fine. One damage isn't going to make or break this game, hopefully. <laughs> so I'm hoping that I've hurt this priest's spirits, but you never know when you're playing a priest. He's probably going to fucking pull out, like, early mind control. Duh! Fucking take all your cards. And I'm still pretty new to Hearthstone, so, like, I don't know exactly all of his moves. Like, I know, you know, when you're playing a mage, like, don't put all your players out because you're going to get fucking flame strike. I get that. But I don't get everything here. Hmm. So let's see. Behold, the might this of should be pretty wind. stacked now. So I could survive this. Risky, but I survive it and I can heal. So if he doesn't have damage, I can heal. <laughs> nice, this is almost like GG. I haven't even put out any totems, which is pretty ridiculous. Wow. Alright, so he only has four mana left. Unless he has a card that does two damage. Either way, I still have my six up. Stormwind Champion. And I could drop a totem, um, hmm. shade of next Ramus. Okay, and just he's gonna heal himself for two. It's it's still game. Well played. Right. Twelve. Thank you. Oh, am I doing the math wrong here? 12. Am I dumb? 
<laughs> I don't know why I said thank you. You just got smacked. Alright, so I guess that worked out pretty well. So we got the first win. The deck worked out pretty well. I was surprised. I didn't even have to use my shamans. That's my usual play style. Is is just spamming totems in the beginning so I can get like a heal up, a taunt, and then I'll throw out some big cards and then they just keep getting healed. And then it's kind of overwhelming. Even if you have a lot of board clear, they kind of keep going up, increasing their health. And then even if you have a flame strike, they usually have more than four health so they can keep surviving and getting rehealed. So that's normally my... Um, strategy so anyways i think this is pretty sweet you guys should check out um heartharena.com to at least do a little bit of your um arena drafting obviously once this website gets more popular a lot of people are going to be doing it so you're going to be seeing similar decks or similar strategies but for right now i think it's pretty interesting and i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this i'm going to cut it off here for youtube but i'm going to keep streaming and play one more um arena game or at least till i lose because that was pretty good so We'll see how this next one goes.